everyone, I'm Iftihaj Muhammad, an Olympic medalist and author of The Proudest Blue, a story of my two younger sisters and wearing hijab to school for the first time. I wanted to tell a story that reminds us that the things that may make us appear different are worth celebrating. Do you want to hear it? Come on. Come on an adventure. Hi guys. Hi. How is everyone? Good. Thank you so much for joining me for story time. My name is Iftihaj Muhammad. I'm an Olympic medalist and I'm also an author of The Proudest Blue, a story of hijab and family. If you ever see anyone who wears hijab like me, uh, they may be Muslim. And People who are Muslim observe the religion of Islam. I have a friend who wears a hijab. Are you guys excited to read this together? Yes. 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 OK. Mama holds out the pink. Mama loves pink. But Asiya shakes her head. I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean. If you squint in your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sky. It's the first day hijab. Asiya knows it, and I know it. We're sisters. I have a sister, and I'm proud of her, too. I love being a sister. I have a brother. Sometimes I'm proud of him. The next day I wait. A new backpack, new light-up shoes. I also have light-up shoes. I feel special. I feel like twirling. Asiya comes out of the house, and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too. I'm a princess too. But even princesses have to stop to cross the street. Asiya takes my hand in hers, says, come on, Faiza. We speed walk it, 14 steps, 14 light ups to get across. I love walking to school with my sister. Asiya takes me to my line first hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave. I give a little curtsy to the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. Sometimes I get nervous on the first day of school. What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try again. Louder now. A scarf, hijab. Oh, she whispers. <laughs> Asiya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asiya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. I think everyone should feel proud. Someone laughs from nearby. A boy pointing at Asiya. Why? Sometimes people are afraid of new things. Asiya's hijab isn't a laugh. Asiya's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. I like the idea of the ocean waving to the sky. I think that's very beautiful. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said. But if you understand who you are, one day they will too. Sometimes books can take you into real life situations or it can just be like your life. In class, I draw a picture. Two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it so loud, the teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if Asiya drew a picture, too. Recess time is for five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one, near the sixth graders, near Asiya and her friends, near a boy yelling, I'm going to pull that tablecloth off your head. 
I don't like it when kids are mean. A seah's hijab isn't a tablecloth. A seah's hijab is blue, only blue. A seah turns away, her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement playing tag. Is there a better game than tag? Mama, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. Drop them. They are not yours to keep. They belong only to those who said them. Faiza and Asiya have a smart mom. When mama says those impowerful things, I'm like, okay, it's like a great book and I just loved it. After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts. But I only see Asiya waiting for me, like it's a regular day. She's smiling, strong. We cross the road hand in hand. I can't wait to get home, to show Mama the picture I drew, to show Asiya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. Because Asiya's hijab is like the ocean and the sky, no line between them. Saying hello with a loud wave, saying I'll always be here like sisters, like me and Asiya. That's the end. Yay. Does anybody have any questions about yes. the book? Okay, let's start with you. Why did you want to make this book? I don't remember having books that had characters that looked like me. I didn't see characters that had brown skin or that wore hijab like Asiya does in this book. I want there to be more books that are more representative of our classrooms, of our communities that we're a part of. Yes. Why did you choose the color blue? Oh, man, what a good question. I chose the color blue because when we think of strong things, I like to think of the ocean. I like to think of the sky and it having infinite power, it being really, really beautiful. Good question. Yes. Do you focus more on sports or more on writing? Oh, whoa, such a good question. <laughs> so I represented Team USA at the last Olympic Games in the sport of fencing, like with swords. Anybody seen fencing before? Yes? Growing up, I loved sports, but my parents really wanted us to also do well in school. So if you didn't get good grades, if you weren't a good writer, you couldn't go to sports practice. So I had to be good at both. Yes? Were people rude to you when you started wearing your hijab? I had someone in school when I was around a Sia's age refer to my hijab as a tablecloth. And it was meant to make me feel sad but I remember thinking this hijab is a part of me and I'm not going to allow what someone else says make me feel bad about myself. So I've learned to stand up tall and say, this is who I am. And because I've accepted myself, that means other people will accept me as well. Is there anything that makes you guys proud? Something that may make you appear different? Yes. 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 <laughs> so funny, bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is my proud shirt. I'm proud of a lot of things. Mariah, what are you drawing? Is someone drawing? <laughs> I don't even know how we look. <laughs> I'm proud of my curly hair. All I see on my t-shirt right now is three pieces of a puzzle and myself. I invented a sprinkle floor. And I'm really proud of my invention. The, it's a heat, it's tiki. These are all the things I'm proud about. Number one is my family. This is me and my brother. Can I use your blue again? It has all the things I'm proud of, but my main favorite is my fish because she's going through a lot right now. I'm proud of how I love my mom and dad. Dr. Pink. I'm proud to be Filipino. I'm proud of my soccer and I'm proud of my dog, Coco. I'm glad I read this book because it reminds me of all the things I'm proud of. How did you make oh, it back to my I hope you had fun going to school with Faiza and Asiya. While some bullies may say words meant to hurt you, it's important to always remember that those words are not yours to keep. What unique stories would you like to tell? I would tell the story about when I started a new school, how I saved my friend from being bullied. I would tell a million adventure stories, but first I tell mine. When I won a softball game for my team, I like to tell the stories of my life. That's called a memoir. 
Don't forget, always be proud and tell your story.